Hi students, it's me, Rashid Ayu, Professor of Mathematics. Today I'm going to tell you a very important trick regarding to the entrance exams. In different entrance exams, such type of the question has appeared, but no one knows how to utilize the time. Today I'm going to tell you how you can solve a two minute question in two seconds. Okay. I want to find out the derivative of the implicit form. What is the implicit form? An equation or expression which cannot, in which x cannot be expressed entirely in term of y and y cannot be expressed entirely in term of x. So, जब भी आप x को y की form में ना लिख सके या y को x की form में ना लिख सके मुकम्मल तौर पे तो इस तरह की जो इक्वेशंस आपके पास होंगी वो आपके पास इंप्लिसिट फॉर्म के लाएगी ओके टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व हाउ यू कैन फाइंड आउट द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ सच टाइप ऑफ द इक्वेशंस दैट इज द इंप्लिसिट फॉर्म ओके लेट्स सपोज आई एम आई वांट टू फाइंड आउट द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन सो हाउ आई कैन सिंपलीफाई और फाइंड आउट द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन First of all, I am going to take the derivative of this equation with respect to x. When I am going to take the derivative with respect to x, at that time y remains constant. Y behaves like a constant. So it means the derivative of this y. Okay, no x term, no further derivative. Divided by. Now take the derivative of this equation with respect to y. When you take the derivative with respect to y, and you x will behave as a constant quantity. Okay, the derivative of this equation with respect to y. Okay, what is the derivative? That is x and plus two y and the negative sign, which is indicate dy over dx. Okay, this is your answer, students. How I can find this derivative? When our implicit form is given to you, you should follow this rule. If you want to find out the derivative dy over dx, that is using this trick, which is equal to minus f of x ratio f of y. f of x means derivative of the function with respect to x and derivative of function with respect to y. And here is a negative sign. Okay. When you take the derivative with respect to x, it means all the remaining parameters will remain or behave like a constant quantities. Okay. When you take the derivative with respect to y, it means the remaining terms or quantity or variable will behave like a constant. So, in this equation, when I take the derivative of this equation with respect to x, it means y behave as a constant quantity. So y behave as a constant quantity. It will go outside the derivative of x with respect to x. That is one. So here only a y. Y square as a it will behave like a constant quantity. So it means the derivative of y square will be zero, and the derivative of two as as it is a constant number, and the derivative of constant number is zero. Okay. So the answer is y. Now. Next, what do we want? I want to find out the derivative of this. Function or equation with respect to y. Okay, with respect to y, it means x behave like a constant. So derivative of this term will be x because derivative of y with respect to y is one, and the derivative of y square will be two y, and the derivative of two will be zero. So answer is, and here is the negative sign according to the trick rule. Okay, another example. I am going to solve, and you can also solve yourself. This is the equation is given to you, and you want to find out the derivative of this equation. So, simply, students, you can use this trick, and you can simplify this question without any problem, without any product theorem, power theorem of the derivative. Don't need to use the power theorem. Don't need to use the product theorem. You just calculate the derivative of this equation directly. How you can find out the derivative? First of all. Use the trick. Uh, what is trick? Minus f of x divided by f of y. Write down the negative sign. Take the derivative of the equation or function with respect to x. 
Okay, what is the derivative of this with respect to x? That is 8x. What is the derivative of this term? Okay, with respect to x. It means x derivative with respect to x1 and all the remaining terms will be we will behave as a constant product. So it will be plus 2hy. Okay, plus no x term, it will be a constant term, will be 0. Here, here is the x term, exists. So it will be 2g plus 2fy, no x term, derivative will be 0, constant term, derivative will be 0. Okay, close, divided by. Now you want to find out the derivative with respect to y. Okay, no y term, it will behave like a constant quantity, derivative will be 0. 2hxy with respect to y, y derivative with, with respect to y is 1. So 2hx, okay, b is a constant quantity. What is the derivative of y square with respect to y? It will be plus 2by, okay. Here no y term, it means it is a constant quantity, derivative will be 0. What is it? Here is the y term. So derivative of 2fy will be 2f. And see the constant term, so the derivative of this term will be 0. Okay, student, thank you very much.